les liaisons obligatoire. Uh, so, since we started this uh, Learn French with Vincent videos, I've been talking um, quite much about uh, les liaisons, so the, these little links that you can put between, uh, between the words. Um, and so, of course, we've got some rules for these, uh, these things. And so I thought that maybe it might be useful to, to just cover this topic uh, right now because I've been receiving few messages uh, regarding this topic. So this uh, video will only focus on les liaisons obligatoires, so the one you should make, okay? And after that, we'll see, uh, well, the one that you shouldn't make and then uh, the one that are optional, so it's possible to make them or not. Okay, but in the, in this video, we'll focus only on the, the the one that you should make. So, let's start now. So the first uh, situation when you should make it, it's when you use these article défini. So le, la, le. Remember the in English, and then when you've got the plural form, so it's le. It's like that, and then it ends with this s. If you've got a word after and then it's starting with a vowel like this one ami friends then you should make the liaison les amis all right les amis then second possibility here les articles indéfinis so in english a uh, but then in french we've got the difference between the masculine un une des okay and then i took the plural form just to make it clearer so des here ending with s and then you've got a word after étudiant students so it's not with a vowel, so you should make the connection, the liaison between the two, des étudiants. All right. Other possibility when you get these, well, the, the adjective possessive. So when you say my, your, etc. So in French, it would go like that. So in that case, my children. So it should be at the plural because this children is at the plural. Okay, so it goes like that. And then ending with S. Enfant, children is starting with a vowel, so you should make the liaison. Mes enfants, mes enfants. All right. And of course, les adjectifs démonstratifs, sorry, this or these, okay. And in that case, I took the plural form, so these here, and then ordinateur computers. So you should make the liaison between S and O. Ces ordinateurs, ces ordinateurs. OK, so, les amis, des étudiants, mes enfants, ces ordinateurs. So, in these cases, you should make the liaison without any doubt. OK, and so, we also have this interrogative situation. So, when you ask a question, remember, we use this quel, OK, it's what, but then, of course, as usual in French, we've got the difference between the masculine, the feminine, and the plural, feminine plural. In that case, I did use this option, it's feminine, and it's plural, so that's the reason why I write this quel like that. And it ends with S. Option is starting with a vowel. You should make the liaison between the two. Quelles options? Quelles options? All right? And then if you... Well, heard from the beginning, you know, the, the concept of this liaison is that you don't make any pause between the two words. Quelles options? It's really a link between the two. Quelles options? Indéfini, well, exactly the same rule. In that case, you've got certain, indéfini, and it is here at the plural form. Individu, plural, starting with a vowel, you make the liaison. Certains individus. Certains individus. All right. And the last situation for this page, numéro, okay, so if we're talking about, about the numbers, in that case, I took trois, okay, three, just because it ends with S, as you can see here, and then appartement, apartments, starting with a vowel, so you should make the liaison, trois appartements, okay, so, quelles options, certains individus, trois appartements, so in all these cases, you should make the liaison. All right? But then it continues. So, now situation where you've got a sentence in which you've got first the adjective and then the noun, like here for instance. Les beaux enfants, okay? So you make the liaison between beau, so adjective and enfant. And here it's quite interesting because even if you've got this x, well, phonetically it will be like z. So like if it would be an s, okay? Les beaux enfants. All right. Les jeunes étudiants. 
All right, so same thing here, the link between the two, les jeunes étudiants. All right, and then if you've got this pronom personnel, so I, you, he, she, etc., and then your verb, so in that case, I took vous, okay, and then the verb to être, uh, sorry, <laughs> the verb être, to be, uh, so in that case you get vous êtes, vous êtes, so you make the liaison between the two, and then avoir, to have, nous avons, nous avons, all right, so remember, pronom personnel, then the verb, you make the, li the liaison. And then it's quite interesting because this verb être, so to be, if it's at the third person of the singular, so he is or she is, il est, elle est, okay, then definitely you should make the liaison if you've got something after. So like here, for instance, il est admirable, ta, ta, il est admirable, okay, elle est intéressée, elle est intéressée, all right, so in all these cases you should make the liaison, and in that case it's with Il est admirable, elle est intéressée. And it continues. If you've got this uh, structure in which you've got the pronom complément before the verb, okay, so we've been doing a few videos regarding this topic. If you don't know how to make them well, you can check them. Uh, there are many videos regarding this topic. And so remember the pronoun should be before the verb. So when you've got this kind of structure, subject, Pronoun, verb, in that case you should make the liaison between the two. Il nous aide, il nous aide. Elle vous admire, elle vous admire. All right, so z, z here as well. Elle vous admire, il nous aide. Okay? If you've got the verb first and then you put your pronoun after, because normally that's the way we should proceed, you know, if we want to construct a correct question. Normally you should put the first the verb and after the pronoun, okay? So in this situation, then you should make the liaison. And so this little D here is in red just to show you that you won't pronounce it like D to make the liaison, but you will pronounce it like T. And so you will get prend-il. Prend-il, okay? But then here, prennent-elle, okay? So you get your T and then prennent-elle, all right? So prend-il, remember, they pronounce like T, and here, prennent-elle, all right? And so if you want to uh, construct a structure in which you will have whether une conjonction, so these little words that will link uh, whether words or then sentences, or then if it's in preposition, many videos regarding that topic as well, or adverb, but then they should be only one syllable long, okay? So, like that, quand elle, all right, same rule here, remember, when you will have this D, you will phonetically pronounce it like T, quand elle, dans un, okay, and in that case you've got this preposition dans, okay, and then the article, dans un, all right, and here we've got this adverb, beaucoup, and then admirer, beaucoup, beaucoup admirer, sorry, beaucoup admirer, all right, quand elle, dans un, beaucoup admirer, all right, so let's repeat them, il nous aide, elle vous admire, prend-il, prennent-elle, quand elle, dans un, beaucoup admirer.